This is from Brio Jackson. Hey guys, it's great to listen to your banter, but there's really is nothing being discussed about the flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, we digress. I know. Yeah, sorry. That's it's what we're our, doing. We'll, we'll try to stay on topic. We'll, we'll try. Look, there's a lot of content out there. Why are you watching us? Exactly. Dig up some, dig up some videos and watch us later. Yeah. Uh, Flat Earth Channel says it was uh, that most people first. It was that most people first reaction to flat Earth is why would everyone lie to us about the globe? Oh, oh. that's the question I see now. I'm like, why is it written so weirdly? Okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the part we missed earlier that I had deleted. Uh, most people's first reaction to flat Earth is why would everyone why would lie to lie? us about the globe? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, you're yeah. right. I, whew, yeah, I didn't remember even a shred of that one. But yeah, <laughs> it's very virtual. Well, no, I've answered it before, which is why would they lie to us? It's like. Okay, there are a, a slew of reasons why they why would they okay first you got to get into why would they lie to us about anything? Uh, history is um, there's there's two ways of looking at it. Uh, well, two different. Everyone knows that history is written by the winners, but actually Napoleon's version was better, which was history is just lies agreed upon, you know, by the power elite. So the power elite sit down and they just figure out how to lie to you about what has happened throughout history. If you have any doubt about that, look at and just we'll just isolate America. Look at every war that has happened in America since it's been formed, and how we have lied about it. The Revolutionary War was that about the the, the British and the and the United States? You know that territory? No, it was a war between the British and the French. The uh, Spanish American War, which you know Spanish was never our, an aggressor. We just wanted to take some of the territory and took it. The the Mexican American War. Oh, hey, well, let's go take. Texas, New Mexico, because we can't think of any better name to call it, Arizona, and that worthless piece of uh, real estate called California. It's a basic money grab or a, a land grab that we did. Uh, just goes on and on. The Civil War had nothing to do with slavery. It was literally the last chance that the British had to try to take the continental United States. Uh, and they failed. They tried to infiltrate the South and tried to take it. They couldn't do it, could not pull it off. They were pulled out of the war at the last second by the Russians. There is no truth in when it comes to it's too tempting for the authority to lie to us about everything. So if you just follow that line about all the things, we we'll, we'll, we'll want to throw the modern stuff in there too? Fine. Let's throw in Pearl Harbor. Let's throw in JFK, 9-11, Sandy Hook, Boston bombing. It just goes on and on and on. You never get told the real story about anything. So with something this big, you really think that that whole pattern is going to change and, and they're going to tell us the truth about that? No, this is the one they absolutely will lie about and hold on for like grim death to the bitter end. This is the big lie, the one that everyone's been waiting for. This is the, the one where imagine if it's street magic and you're being conned you know, time and time again. Your wrist, wristwatch is taken. Your wallet is taken. You know, He's just pulling cards out here and there. And you're saying, okay, finally, you made up your mind after seeing all these conspiracies and you say... All right, I will be able to get this one. I will be able to, to uh, nobody's going to fool me again. And it turns out you were fooled the entire time. The trick was already pulled on you before you were even born. You were, you've been walking around the trick. You've been walking around the lie. Why would they lie to us in this case? Because if they don't, there is a massive <clears throat> power paradigm shift between science and religion. Religion becomes much more robust uh, religion becomes the top of the food chain because what you're basically admitting is that intelligent design is real that anyone in science that went against intelligent design was wrong and that if <clears throat> think of it this way religion and science if science is wrong it, it's two parts of this if science is wrong then about this and they were wrong about all sorts of stuff and they, they their credibility just starts sinking and sinking whereas religion it's like oh they were right about this and all the all the time and i've said this in the clues what else are you write about what else can you tell me what else can religion teach me you know between those two things oh it, it turns it that is something they do not want to deal with right now uh and they they've been trying to figure out for the last 60 years how to dodge it how to delay it because that is really what it boils down to and that is proof of the creator proof of the divine proof of a higher power than us you will have be really hard pressed if this thing comes out or when it comes out uh to find atheists because they how, how can an atheist stand before the biggest wall in history 
the biggest the biggest structure in history something that we not did not build it's not like standing in front of the pyramids and saying oh, how they build that scratch your head no this is something way way bigger than that um uh, it's it's the greatest thing ever but i still think it's the most positive thing ever so yeah the authority is going to fight it as long as they can because they don't like change they like the status quo they don't want to see their run end which is why i, I you know i kind of joke about it and say look nasa had a good run and they did you know, they kept this thing going for 60 years. Yeah, it cost them about a trillion dollars, uh, but it's over. It's done. And and this thing's got to wind, wind down to a different conclusion. It's got to be resolved one way or the other. And if they get on top of it and they turn it a different way, it could be a new golden age. Yes, there'll be some, there'll be some heartache. There'll be some pain. There'll be some suffering, some economic instability. Any more than what we have now? Right, just a whole different world of the same thing, but uh, yeah. but with a, a p more of a positive spin, with hope. Yeah. Where we don't really have hope now. No, we really don't. I mean, how many? And this isn't like hope, like those stupid Obama posters from years ago. <laughs> this is this is real hope. This is something. Imagine if you could change the world literally, literally change the world, not hyperbole. Everyone says, "Oh yeah, we're going to change the world," but no, no. This is the real deal. This one, this is when it really literally changes. And you become part of a, a great community, part of a family, part of something wonderful. Can you put a price tag on that? And Flat Earth is already doing that. It's already taking people who are atheists or non-believers. I mean, I was kind of in that camp uh, and agnostics and making them at least believe in some higher power. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's starting. It started already. It's going yeah, on now. It has. So you know, don't, and, and I know, you know, I, I still treat it like flat club and you can't just walk up to a family gathering, although the holidays are coming up here pretty soon. Mm. Time for a uh, flat earth snow globe gifts for everyone. Well, think about the holidays. You know, that's a that'd be a good thing to organize. Didn't even think about that, you know, because especially Thanksgiving people yeah. are, you know, after dinner, tossing a few back, you know, full from Turkey, you know, sitting back there the, the resistance levels really low. Or, or toe turkey for those who are vegan, like me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was Just I want to throw the... in the little vegan aspect to the show. Yes, yes, yes. Now yes, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that'd be great. Just hand everybody a flat earth snow globe and say, everyone here at the table, let's discuss what this looks like to you. Yeah. Be kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. Somebody come up with a, a Thanksgiving slogan for flat earth. I think it'd what be would, you know, the snow globes at the bottom, there's a little winder and then a song plays. It would have to be a flat earth song. Yeah. That would take a lot of doing and somebody could do it and come up with it. And it would really be, it would sell like hotcakes, yeah. which are flat. Hey, by the way, what did you think of those, um, those two flat earth song videos I made? They're fantastic. I know you like the one. English, Espanol. So if you are new in my YouTube channel, I recommend you to watch uh, my video mix number 64 about this hashtag, Let's Talk FE. Si estas nuevo, nueva en mi canal de YouTube, te recomiendo de ver el video mix número 64. sobre el tema de hashtag Let's Talk FE. Tierra plana, Flat Earth, Secret, Secreto. But now I want to talk about maybe the most difficult uh, question. Pero ahora quiero hablar sobre que tal vez es la pregunta más difícil. The question of why are they hiding this from us? La pregunta de el por qué están escondiendo este tema de nosotros. I think there are two main reasons. Pienso que hay en dos razones principales. I want to start with the second reason, Antarctica. Quiero empezar con la razón número dos, que es Antarctida. 
you know that after uh, the Second World War, different nations and especially Admiral Byrd explored Antarctic, Antarctica um, for many years. Sabes que después de la Segunda Guerra Mundial, uh, muchas naciones, y especialmente uh, el Admiral Byrd, ha explorado uh, la Antártida uh, muchos años. And there even exists a um, video about Admiral Byrd talking about Antarctica, that it's, um, it has many uh, resources, oil, minerals, um, uranium. Hasta existe un video de Admiral Byrd hablando sobre Antártida y dice que es el, el continente más rico, que hay mucho petróleo, minerales, um, um, but I think it's not just that. Uh, he said, yeah, it's uh, very rich, this continent, and he thinks there will be excu uh, excursions every year. But they must have discovered something else which made all nations stop exploring this continent. I get goosebumps. Pero no es solo eso. Él, él, él dijo, sí, que vamos a volver cada año explorando más, pero muy probable que han visto algo más. Porque de repente todas las naciones han dejado de explorar Antártida. Habrán visto algo que, se, que les asustó tanto que me, sí, a mí me pone la piel de gallina. Así que, and you know, now there is an international treaty that which prohibits all nations to access Antarctic, the interior, and no plane is allowed to fly over this region. Ya sabes que han hecho un, un tratado que ninguna nación puede acceder a este el lugar interior y tampoco aviones volar encima de Antártida. Just in relation to that topic, the wealth which is hidden, being hidden in Antarctica, en relación a ese tema que esta fortuna, estos recursos que están siendo escondidos en Antártida that oil, petroleo. You know, before there was a law, there had to be um, gold. Uh, replacing all that money which is being printed. Ya sabes que antes había una ley que había tener oro tras todo el dinero que están imprimiendo. And they abolished that law. And now actually it's a more or less oil, dollar, oil. Luego el oro, así es, eh, el petróleo ha sustituido el oro, eh, pero tampoco por entero. Tanta deuda externa, so much exterior de debt, debt-based economic system. Sistema basado en deuda. So imagine, imagine so many people starving from hunger and working like crazy. Así que imagina tanta gente muriendo de hambre, matándose por el dinero, and so much wealth being hidden in Antarctica, and toda esa fortuna está siendo escondido en Antártida. Anyway, this is okay. This is something else. Nikola's Tesla, free energy, uh, and all these economic interests which made uh, suppress these innovative ideas.
bueno, esto es un poco aparte, pero igualmente importante, el tema de Nikola Tesla, energía libre, eh, habría, se podría ahorrar tanto dinero y solo por estos intereses de... Ah, anyway, do you know this hashtag which rhymes with democracy? Corporatocracy. ¿Conoces este hashtag que se rima en inglés con democracia? Corporatocracy. So, okay, now I want to try to talk about this first reason, which is maybe a little bit complicated to explain my train of thoughts. Bueno, ahora voy a intentar de hablar sobre la primera razón en que tal vez es bastante complicado para explicar mis pensamientos. Just want to start with one German quote. Uh, man sieht den Wald vor lauter Bäumen nicht. Quiero empezar con un, un dicho en alemán que dice Man sieht den Wald vor lauter Bäumen nicht. And English translated as are uh, like You don't see the forest because of, uh, with all these trees you don't see the forest. Traducido es como uh, que no se ve el bosque con tantos árboles. So I want to invite you to try to imagine the big picture. Quiero invitarte para intentar de ver la imagen grande. So don't take just one step, but better ten steps back and imagine Uh, being yourself out of space and looking down on this earth whichever form it has in your mind. Quiero invitarte de no solo un paso, dar diez pasos atrás y imaginarte ese mundo eh, como si estarías en el espacio mirando abajo en esta tierra tenga la forma que tenga en tu mente. There are many atheists which started to believe in creationism and the Bible after looking into that topic of Let's Talk Cafe. Hay muchos ateístas que empezaron eh, de creer en la teoría de la creación y en la Biblia después de estudiar el tema del hashtag Let's Talk FA. So imagine the beginning of times when God uh, and the angels, one, I think one third of part of the angels, the, the fallen angels took on his side one third of the angels with him. Imagínate en el principio de los tiempos Dios y los ángeles y el ángel caído, Lucifer o como quieras llamar, Satan, Satan, and the devil, Diablo. Cuando él, el, el ángel caído, Lucifer, Uh, atrajo en su lado, uh, me parece, un tercera parte de todos los ángeles. <laughs> me estoy refiriendo, refiriendo a ángeles, no en California, los ángeles, los, el ángel, <laughs> ya sabes lo que quiero decir. Uh, just want to mention when I was three or four years old. Solo quiero mencionar cuando tenía como tres o cuatro años. I had many nightmares almost every night. Tenía muchas pesadillas casi toda cada noche. And it was always that same kind of dream. This contrast between uh, 
light and dark or fast and slow always these contrasts are um, in the bed uh, very um, flat or um, how can I explain like uh, oh you know what I mean I'm mean, grumpfelig in German Había siempre este contraste entre luz y oscuridad, eh, rápido y despacio, y, y uh, liso y gambado, como quieras decir, bueno, contrario de liso. Bueno, eh, creo que esto es, también un poco se refiere a la sábana cuando está un poco campado o fuera de su sitio que ya no esté liso, ¿comprendes? Always other words on this contrast between good and evil o con otras palabras el contraste entre el bien y el mal Ok, long story short Bueno, resumiendo Anyway, I should mention that I'm very convinced that uh, there's an afterlife after death. De todas formas, quiero mencionar que estoy muy convencida que hay uh, vida tras la muerte. And I want to remember you that it's written in the Bible. Lucifer is the highest power on this world, on this world, not the, the world later. Quiero recordar que también en algún sitio en la Biblia dice que Lucifer es el maestro de este mundo, de este mundo, no el mundo después. And I want to remember you that our all the presidents of the countries are just puppets uh, who execute the, um, the agenda of the world elite, which is a satanic system. Quiero recordar que nuestros presidentes de los, de los países que son solo marionetas que ejecuten la voluntad de la élite mundial que gobierna eh, en este sistema satánico. Hay de many uh, satanic rituals. Hay muchos uh, rituales satánicos. Just now I remember, um, uh, uh, did you hear of the Jesuits? Uh, society of Jesus. Uh, has oído de los Jesuitas, Sociedad de uh, Jesús, que hacen, and they discovered under many churches, um, buried, uh, yeah, after the war, that under uh, these churches were buried a satanic signs of uh, rituals. Después de la guerra también se descubrieron debajo de las iglesias que había estos rituales satánicos. Now I want to invite you to make one thought experiment. Quiero invitaros a hacer un experimento de pensamiento. Did you see this episode of Simpsons when um, this uh, person comes who fights against it, wood-eating uh, insects. Uh, ¿Has visto ese episodio de Simpson cuando um, viene esa, esa persona de empleado para luchar contra estos insectos que comen la madera? And he says, uh, to be able to fight against these animals, I must think like being one of these animals y dice para poder luchar con, contra estos insectos tengo que imaginar ser como ser uno de estos insectos or maybe like um, then when they invest one crime 
um, they imagine to be in the shoes of the criminal or when they investigate a um, crime, uh, se imaginan de ser en los zapatos de este criminal. By the way, um, you know that I have uh, many Twitter accounts and one of them, especially the soul confiscator catch, is like to imagine being working for United Nations. Mark of the Beast. Six, six. Ya sabéis que tengo muchos cuentas de Twitter, entre ellos el confiscador de almas, soy confiscator cat, gato, confiscador de almas, y ahí me imagino un poco de esta manera trabajando por Naciones Unidas, marca de la bestia, 666. Impuestos, tax, RFID chip, radio frequency identification, RFID. So what I wanted to say, imagine being that fallen, fallen, sorry, fallen angel, Lucifer, Satan or the devil, how you want to call it. Así que vamos a... Imagínate cómo piensa este ángel caído, Lucifer, Satan, o el diablo, como quieras llamarlo. Remember when Jesus fastened and uh, um, Satan, Lucifer, or devil took Jesus in the desert and showed him all uh, the countries. Anyway, this is another um, example. How is it possible to show all the, the the countries and the land if the land is round? So, if from one corner of the uh, of the planet, and then actually, what I want to say, then he said he used the word of God to. Is the, the word of God is the sword. Bueno, traducir. Quiero decir. En primer lugar, eh, la palabra de Dios es la espada. Eh, y también que cuando Lucifer, Lucifer o oh, Diablo, Satan, Satan eh, tomó. Eh, sí, Jesús eh, estaba ayunando estos. No, perdón, 40 días. Um, excuse me, 40, 40 days, um, to, uh, lo ha llevado al desierto y ha enseñado a Jesús todos los países. Y, como, y uh, además, sí, ¿cómo es posible? Mira, si sí, el, el mundo, el, la tierra es plana, así es, sí, es posible de, de, de ver todo, bueno, ver no, pero más bien probable que cuando Sí, el, el mundo es redondo. What I actually want to say, the first interest of Lucifer, actually I like, I prefer the, the word Lucifer because it's, it's um, the big liar. It lo likes, looks like light. Anyway, in the apocalypse, okay. Uh, keep it simple now. No, uh, Quiero decir, eh, eh, casi prefiero el nom nombre de Lucifer. Eh, que parece como luz, sí, pero es todo mentira. Yeah, what I really want to say that um, Lucifer um, likes that people doubt of the word of God, the Bible. And this way, as I said before, the word of God is the sword to fight against. So if they start to doubt of this word of God, they, are, they don't have defense. 
quiero decir que a Lucifer le gusta que la gente deuda, que, que pone en deuda lo que dice la Biblia. Y la Biblia es la defensa que se puede luchar y defenderse. Esto es, se puede como considerar como uh, eh, juicio final, es una lucha de palabras como en un juicio, la lucha espiritual. You can consider this like the last uh, judgment day, it's like uh, in court, you don't fight with, uh, with uh, <laughs> guns, you fight with the words like in in a trial, in a court, you fight with the words, and this, the defense is the, the word of God. So, what I want to say especially, so if they doubt about this prophecy of the mark of the beast, if they doubt uh, the Bible, so they don't pay attention to the prophecy of the mark of the beast. Cuando ponen en deuda la palabra de Dios, no ponen atención lo que dice la profecía de la marca de la bestia. So now, long time I have uh, plans to uh, produce some videos like pretending be the soul confiscator. And Accusing people of stupidity, and that's why United Nations has the right to to introduce the mark of the beast. Ya hace tiempo tengo como planeado de producir videos como pretender ser el soul confiscator, confiscador de almas, gato de Cat. Así que mira, acusando a la gente de estupida, porque si no conocen a la palabra de Dios, no prestan atención de la, a la profecía de la marca de la bestia. Así que Naciones Unidas tiene derecho de introducir el sistema marca de la bestia, comprando impuestos y confiscando almas, confiscating souls. So I just came home now.
Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I am sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten äh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015 would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my fir the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, e explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Manus Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o... Mínimo diez o... Mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street, 
Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O oh, tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder Trinkgeld im Restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin, de direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen druckt, auch die, äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Adress-Schlüsseln ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de... Abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015. Plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin, eh, en estos cuatro años yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Ähm, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo.